he and I, uh, in the earlier years, were not the most affluent people in the world. And we shared a room at the commercial hotel. Bob was editor of the Northeast Georgia, and I had just started in my own business in Cornelia. So anyway, we shared this uh, big room. It was this whole half the size. Well, I'm going to say from that column back to the end of the wall, from that side, it was that big old room. It had two beds in it. And uh, we were on That's the third nice. floor. And the train and the railroad tracks were right down below us. And that train would come through half a dozen times a night. Anyway, we were, uh, had been drinking beer as usual. <laughs> and sometime during the night, Bob had his bed on one end of the room and I had mine on the other. And sometime during the night, I had to uh, get up and go to the party. And uh, when I got back in bed, I didn't realize that I had gone to bed in Bob's bed. <laughs> Bob, Bob, it was about 3 or 4 o'clock in the morning. He was tapping me on the shoulder <laughs> in, in his bed. And he popped up on it, looking down at me. He says, Crump, why fold you in my bed? <laughs> I said, Bob, darn if I know. But there were so many things like that that happened with Bob that I was remarking today that as children, I first met him when I was 10 years old, and uh, I remarked to him that he is the only friend, male friend, that same age, and I didn't have a fist fight with him. But we never had that kind of a relationship. And why, I don't know. But uh, anyway, we we were been close friends. But. He probably talked you out of it. Well, <laughs> he said he was bigger than him, and he knew that. We used to, uh, after, uh, while we were still living there, and we were, uh, I was home from the service, and uh, we had died. Friday night, we would toss a coin on Friday afternoon after we closed my business and closed the newspaper where he was editor. Uh, we would toss a coin uh, or use a map and drop something on the map that was within the surrounding states. And wherever the coin landed, that's where we would go for the weekend. Terrible to ever answer. <laughs> <laughs> we wound up in uh, uh, Knoxville, Tennessee one night, about 2 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> and uh, Bob was uh, rather outgoing, if you can believe it, with, uh, <laughs> with strangers. Uh, he could talk to anybody. And uh, we went to this restaurant and started talking to this lovely little waitress and uh, she decided that she would like to go out with us, the two of us, and show us Knoxville, which uh, was delightful. She took us up on top of the mountain and we looked at all the relics from the uh, war between the states and uh, it was, as I said, one of the most enjoyable trips that we ever had and I think Bob went back to visit the girl. He told me not to stand up and talk all day and never repeat myself. But it has been a wonderful experience uh, knowing that the twins met from birth and I was telling a little bit earlier about walking down the beach with Matt between us that morning. He was in his little Tizu Itzi uh, bathing suit. He was holding on to my finger on one side and Bob on the other. And uh, walking down the beach with his little round spots in the sand. And I said, Bob, what is that? And Matt stopped and started pulling on my finger. He said, Crunk, that's a hole. <laughs> so, those were the kind of memories I have of it. Always wonderful. <laughs>
God grind. How about the fist fights you had with the women? You left them out. With what? You said you excluded the women when you talk about fist fights with all these <laughs> Bob was the latest man. <laughs>